so I'm not gonna lie because it's tough to keep up with so many players. I don't know exactly who they play, but I'm sure this is gonna be great though. As it always is. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it, it, it's always sweaty out here. All right, we're gonna sweaty. see what's going on here. Yeah, look, look it, it's the streets of Street Fighter Six, you know? Okay, we're getting some Aki action tonight. Okay. Don't usually see that. Nah, because uh, Aki not regarded as one of the stronger characters in the game. She's got some tools, but definitely is suffering a little bit, especially in the buttons department. I mean, she really, right now. Yeah, especially right now, going against the likes of Luke from Brian D. Not playing around at all. We played the good characters, but wait a minute. The poison's on. That could have been a nice whiff punish incoming. Didn't believe. Ooh. Nice DI. That should, oh wait, no, never mind. Poison ran out. Thought that was gonna lead to a whole bunch of damage, but lost the debuff right before. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yo, Ryan just making his way out of the corner slowly. Yep, yep. Something oh. jumps over the bubble and that's gonna be the round. The dirty bubble not coming into effect this time. Ryan was definitely waiting for that bubble for the longest time, mm -hmm. making sure the second he saw the animation. All right, now. That must have been a serious misinput for that EXD yeah. mid screen. Ouch. Definitely, definitely. Still seeing on life lead now, getting the DI. Gonna go straight into the level three. That's gonna go ahead and put Poyo Susio right in the burnout. And this is so scary. You're close to the corner. We got Luke with bar. Ooh, Didn't get the stun because that hit. Wow, fighting back though. No fear. Poison's still going up. Ooh, nice DP man. there, and that should be it. The trade combos coming through for Brian D. They just just demolishing first game. Had so much control over most of it. Definitely reading his opponent to the best of his ability. Just uh, making sure to look for bubbles, making sure to mm -hmm. make space, take advantage of Luke's button range over Aki. Mm -hmm. Just everything Brian D needed to just capitalize on the matchup. And in fact, Poyo Susio realizes this and decides to switch to Kami. So, here we go. I like it. You know, much better pick. You know, probably a better tool set, to, to be completely honest. But right now, it's starting business as usual. You're in the corner against Luke. Look at the size of those forearms. Look at the size of those YIRs. I love it. YIRs. <laughs> Yeah, the Yayatas, the, the wake like, up buttons though. The MK11s, Combat League. Ooh. Ooh. Big thing, man. This should be lethal, mm. yep. Right. You died just because you messed up the anti-air. It I'm happens sure like that. For a jump at that range. It's probably right. not yeah, it's kind of a strange range to jump, yeah. It's more like, at that range, it's the idea of why would this person jump at me? He's probably going to take damage, but no fear from Brian B. Oh my God. Did you see that set up into the DI again? Oh God, that's disgusting. And that's a perfect Brian D. Ouch. Wow. Just all of the control Brian B out here, making sure it is his game. He has everything. Yeah, I mean that's uh that's the power of uh, picking good characters. You know that that's what <laughs> happens. You know you you're supposed to feel confident against a lot of these characters. You know I respected the Aki pick at first, but definitely Luke uh, Luke definitively wins that matchup uh, unless somebody found.